back everyone. Today we will continue the shampoo showdown. Before we get started, just want to make clear again, the opinions formed and the positioning of the product on the podium isn't information gathered by what you see on the video. That's just eye candy while I yap to you about the product. I take the shampoos out into the shop, real world work, and gather the information uh, there as to how it cleans and so on and so on. So today we want to take a look at the P21S Body Work Shampoo and Conditioner and we want to see if it breaks onto our podium and speaking of the podium this is where it stands as of now the Chemical Guys Gloss Works is uh, holding on to the top spot this is killing me I can't wait till one knocks it off by the way Nano Skin Hyper Suds in second we have Masterson's Mystic Snow Foam, a great shampoo. And honorable mention goes to Angel Wax, Angel Wash, Poor Boy's World, and Dodo Juice. So, without further hesitation, let's take a look at the P21S, see if it makes its way onto our podium. I just, I do want to talk about this before we get started. It is um, a wheat germ and um, sugar-based product. It's supposed to be natural. It is supposed to be gentle on your body work or your wax or sealant or even your coating. For me, I just want personally a shampoo that cleans. I can deal without all the natural stuff when it comes to body shampoos. I will find that more important in um, other aspects of life. Uh, but we're going to do the review anyway, so let's get started. The P21S is 500 milliliters for $12. It is a natural shampoo, natural ingredients that lets your uh, clear coat maintain its natural oils and also is safe on waxes, coatings, sealants. Although a concentrate, the shampoo is not very thick. It has a nice odor, a nice scent to it of apples. Although the price is a little on the high side, the product does boast of being able to put just a cap full and five gallons of water for your wash bucket. That didn't work for me. Uh, you could try it, but I went back to uh, reverting back to my older measurements, putting a full ounce into the IK foamer. Although the product tested on filthy cars coming through the shop, I also wanted to test on this vehicle here. It has a coating. I wanted uh, a safe shampoo that was easy on wheels and the coating itself. Now when doing research, when purchasing the product, the product information page did say that this is a low sudsing formula and not a great formula for the foam gun. However, with the IK foamer here that can practically make straight up water foam, you can see it does a good job with the uh, P21S. So normally in a shop environment here, I can let this set for somewhere around 10 minutes. I know, you know, out in the road, it would be somewhere around five or six minutes and it's time for a thorough rinse. Some other information I remember from the product uh, information page is the shampoo being high in lubricity and also uh, works best with the grit guard and a sheepskin wash mitt. I don't use any of that crap and I do hope that it has high lubricity. That is one thing that's very important to me no matter what the shampoo is or claims to be. Right here we're running it through the lance using a 2000 PSI electric pressure washer. You can see it's rather runny, not much of a foam whatsoever, but that's what the information page had stated. And I just wanted to show you real quick, this is what it would look like after you let it dwell for, you know, six to ten minutes or so. And, uh, I mean, it was just enough to cling to the side of the car and hopefully um, lift a little bit of the dirt and um, get some lubrication in there. But you can see it's rather runny and we're going to rinse it off and move on.
Okay, so there were a couple examples of a pre-wash routine. Now it's time to get ready for the contact wash. So we're going to get the bucket ready. I use one bucket, three quality mitts, and I don't put the dirty mitts back into the wash solution. It's going to be perfectly clear when I'm done. I'll show that to you. The 10x10 Cyclone will be used for the top of the car, a little bit of the front and back, and then I have matching wash mitts that will take care of each side. They then get put off to the side, and uh, I clean them later and dry them properly. Although the P21S did not uh, perform well as a foamer, it did produce some large foam in the wash bucket. However, I do not feel much lubrication whatsoever. So what I'm going to do is grab the foamer that has a little bit of the product left and just empty out the container on there before I start my contact wash, hopefully adding some lubrication. I know when I went to the product page and read the reviews, there were a lot of four, four and a halfs, and fives. Uh, but to me, this product is shite. You know, maybe you guys would have better luck using it. And as you can see, this stuff is running off quicker than I can get to the wash bucket. So, carrying on with the contact wash, as I mentioned before, using the 10 by 10 for the top, I feel no lubrication whatsoever between the mitt and the surface. I feel drag on the wash mitt, so, you know, I'm really grateful this car hardly ever gets dirty. You know, I'd hate to see uh, the results if dirt and grit got between the surface and the wash mitt using this shampoo. Locking in the nozzle, quick disconnect. Always point to the floor, test it, so you make sure it's not flying out onto a painted surface or cracking a window or windshield. When using a power washer and you come across vehicles with paint protection film, I would stay away from it, but backing off naturally lowers pressure and never point it in towards the edge of PPF. All right, the contact wash is complete. The wash bucket, crystal clear, no dirt or grit whatsoever. A dirty wash mitt never went back into it. I could cover it, agitate it later, use it again, or just spill it away. But the vehicle itself is nice. It's clean. It wasn't real dirty to begin with, but uh, it's a gentle wash. It's not going to do some heavy dirt duty cleaning, and uh, you will not get much uh, action when using it as a foamer. However, there you go. That was the P21S body shampoo and conditioner with wheat germ and sugar-based ingredients. All right, guys. Again, P21S body work, shampoo, and conditioner. Um, natural wheat germ, sugar-based ingredients in the shampoo. Um, meant I know what it was meant for and designed for to keep the oils and moisture in your clear coat I can't use this stuff I need something that gets down to it and cleans I'm gonna put a link down below if you're interested or want to look into it a little bit further um, but as for our podium our metals table that will not change whatsoever unfortunately so gloss works will hold the top spot again for another couple days and that's another reason it's a couple days in between getting these videos out on the different products. 
I have to take them out into, into you know the shop, do some real world work with them, and then form my opinions based on how they perform there. But we have Masterson's Mystic Snow Foam Bronze. Uh, honorable mention goes to Angel Wax, Angel Wash, Poor Boy's World, and Dodo Juice. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate. It's Brian from Apex Detail. Catch you in the next video.